mathematics. Some call it the language of the universe. Others prefer a more technical explanation and say that it expresses the mechanisms of the universe. Maths helps us explore and explain the world within us, around us, and beyond us. In many ways, maths is the underlying tool that humans have used to create some of the most astonishing achievements, especially in the last few hundred years. Mathematics has many branches, but it can broadly be classified into continuous maths and discrete maths. Continuous mathematics deals with real numbers. Between any two real numbers, there are infinitely many additional real numbers. There are no gaps in the real number line that continuous maths operates on. Continuous mathematics reflects the world around us, which is smooth and continuous, like the progression of time, rotation and revolution of planetary bodies, etc. Discrete maths deals with sets of items that can only contain distinct values that cannot be further subdivided. For example, ideas like gender, names of colors, number of siblings you have, etc. are all discrete values. Interest in discrete mathematics increased in the latter half of the 20th century, partly due to the development of digital computers. Computers operate in discrete steps and store data in discrete bits. The continuous nature of the physical world is translated into discrete steps by digitizing it. Concepts and notations from discrete mathematics are useful in studying and describing objects and problems in branches of computer science. To glimpse the kinds of problems discrete maths deals with, consider four people and four chairs. How many different ways can these four people be seated on the four chairs? If you were to manually write out all possible combinations, you would see that there are 24 ways. But what if you were dealing with larger numbers? For example, 10 people and 10 chairs. The answer is 40,320. And good luck if you want to calculate that manually. You will encounter more riddles like this when you come across the topics combinatorics and permutations. Another way you can use discrete mathematics is to find the shortest path between two locations. You have probably used a GPS navigator or Google Maps to find the shortest route to your destination. Have you wondered how it's done? There are several possible paths that can be taken from point A to point B. How can you find the shortest path? Or you might want to travel from point A to point B, but intend to visit several other points of interest along the way. How can you plan the most efficient route so that you travel the least distance? You will learn how to represent maps and solve this type of problem in the topic graph theory. By now, you might have an idea of what the wonderful world of discrete maths is all about. It's practical and it's fun. Welcome to the land of discrete maths. If you fear maths, then confront your fears with the understanding that discrete maths is a tool to help understand and solve interesting problems. It can be your greatest friend.